the image was hand drawn. It was actually a tracing of a Georgia Bulldog that was slightly modified. And it was done for a crazy uh, fraternity party at Middlebury College in Vermont. And um, the, uh, most of that white is printed with a low bleed white which expands to heat and it gives you a rough feeling because uh, of the expansion of the ink. Well, we think pigs have a rough skin, so that's why we did it that way. Let me show the other side of the shirt. You too can print shirts like this, the Middlebury Pig Gig. And uh, all those who attended this beer blast and pig roast at Middlebury College got one of these shirts. Of course, they charge for the shirts and that's how they finance the project. Okay, let's move on to some other things we can do. This is a one color print, just like that one color press you saw, printed with three dimensional ink capillary film, Newman screen, you can see it's really sharp and clean. And we have a customer who prints a lot of this kind of uh, bag that they stuff with uh, toiletries and golf balls and other things and sell them as a promotional product. So you can do specialty items. Here's another. Hat, hats are our specialty. This is a one color. To print this, you'd have to remove the uh, shirt plaid and put a cap attachment on there. But that's not a problem for us. We have more than 35 different attachments. This is a three color print on a hat, printed right over the seam. The entire rectangle was printed in 3D white ink, flash cured, and then just the red and blue were printed on top of the white. And so it's easy to register the image. This next design we printed for the cover of Printwear Magazine. And if you're going to get a magazine in this industry, Printwear is for you. It's the best magazine. It's a, you can see, yellow, red, black, and blue. It's a four color print printed over the seam sharp as can be, the stitching, the seam, do not affect the image because they are buried in the three-dimensional ink. And then just to be crazy about it, we did the same image on corduroy. Other people say you can't print on corduroy. Well, folks, there it is. Okay, and last, four-color process on a cap. And it's the same cap attachment, four little cap screens, Newman screens, of course, and it's real easy to print. So there are some other things you can do. Now, we're not limited to hats and those bags. You can do gloves and sleeves and jackets. There are so many, so many items, and each one has a different revenue stream and different reason for customers to come to you. And you may want to consider when setting up your business what other items besides t-shirts you might like to print. When you are printing shirts with the kind of quality that I just showed you, I cannot stress enough the importance of maintaining the integrity of the print structure. That is, the screen itself can't flex, the mesh can't move within the frame, the platen itself has to be absolutely rigid. If you notice on that one color press, the platen was supported underneath. You can stand on the platen, it will not flex. It's like standing on a concrete block. It does not move one iota. That's critically important. The surface of the platen is hard. Now those three uh, jackets we saw in the beginning, I suspect were printed with some sort of a pad on the platen, and the pad was moving up and down. That makes the, the image unstable. And of course we know the screen was dancing all over. So they had a number of problems. But what you want is a very hard surface that doesn't give, and you can hold the structure of your image. And of course the outside area is formed by the stencil and the screen, whether it be liquid emulsion or capillary film. Now, if you decide to go to a larger press, how are you going to achieve that? Because when you're pressing down on your squeegee way out, away from center, that's added leverage against the platen arm and a greater chance for that platen to deflect away from the screen. And then that's a, a color registration problem. You'll have ink that's too heavy. You'll have a number of problems. And how do we prevent that? Here's how. If you're buying a floor model press, Make sure that the platen arms are supported. And you'll see here we have these diagonal braces. And how they're done is a highly engineered solution. And I can tell you other companies haven't really figured this out. We have figured it out because our main business is designing high voltage electrical transmission towers and substations. We have to know how to engineer structures correctly in order to meet national code. And these braces will prevent any deflection. So this press is as rigid as that little one color you saw. And you will not get the deflection. You'll be able to maintain the same kind of quality. In fact, this press is an eight color. So eight colors can be printed in registration.
I know this video was a little long-winded, but you're trying to get started, trying to get some good information, and therefore I covered a lot of points. However, we have many more videos covering different aspects like capillary film, liquid emulsion, how to clean screens, every aspect of the business. And if you don't see what you need, pick up the phone, call us, or send us an email. We answer all emails, all phone calls. I personally take about 50 calls a day. It's all free. So just call, we'll help you. There's no reason for you to get misled. If you really want to know who's a good supplier, not a good supplier, well, we don't like to cast dispersions on other people, but we can tell you what to be looking for in terms of generic specification, and then you decide. Any questions, let us know. We're here for you.